All right, folks, so this is part two on the black Japanese. So we're going to go into further why Africans love anime so much because it's bigger than just language similarities. I'm talking about stories that has been passed down in African tribes for centuries, okay, that we find in a very common, very popular anime such as Naruto and Dragon Ball Z, okay? So stay tuned. Listen all the way to the end so you can uh, 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 receive all of the knowledge. So the beginning of the shinobi world as we know it, it started with this extraterrestrial being, Quaker, who, as you guys seen, came as like a falling star to the earth. And now when she came to the earth, she met humans who she thought was primitive for our way of war and causing pain upon each other. Because Quaker was disgusted with our ways, she decided to use her power along with the sacred tree on our land and the moon's power and combining these elements, she put the people of the earth in what they call the infinite Sukuyomi, which is a visual jutsu that pretty much puts you into an infinite dream. And this is what the crime scene looks like. After this, she has two sons, Hogoromo and Hamura, who figures out what she was doing from a toad, actually, because they know that the serpents hold wisdom. But anyway, the toad tells them what their mother was doing, and the older brother, Hagoromo, decides that he wants to stop their mother, and his younger brother, Hamura, sides with him in doing so. All powerful Quega then summoned the ten tails from the sacred tree, which caused the battle that lasted months. Hogoromo and his younger brother came out of the battle successful and Hamura, the younger brother, decided to side with his mom becoming the moon, right? You will hear a lot of conspiracies in the uh, spiritual community that there is the moon is a watch station because it is believed to be artificial, right? Because the moon is kind of hollow, right? NASA had sent um, a, 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 a projectile into the moon and they said it rung like a bell for I think a couple hours, they said. So it's, it's hollowed out and also its position to the earth is so perfect that they've never quite seen a satellite, a natural satellite, which is what they call moons, uh, uh, in that position relative to its uh, host planet. Digressing from the science, Hogoromo then splits the ten tails after he wins the battle with his younger brother and scatters them across the world and him and let's see one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight followers. Okay, remember that number. Him and eight follower goes around the world uh, teaching what they call ninshu or the ninja arts, okay? The shinobi arts of cultivating and manipulating chakra in order to perform different kinds of jutsu such as taijutsu, which is fighting uh, uh, ninjutsu, which is summoning different kind of elements. And then you have genjutsu, which is the visual arts. The mention of chakra and energy alone should already let you know that you're dealing with African science. After those eight great sages went around teaching ninshu to uh, uh, the common folks of the land, then they formed their different villages and spread it out as you can see. Now, relating all of this to reality and the African tribal stories, which has been kept for centuries, okay? I'm gonna read now from uh, a Dogon elder, okay? This book was written, was taken from the uh, reports of Marcel Griol, who dwelt among the Dogon for a little bit over a century, okay? And the elder Ogotomeli told Marcel Griol about their eight Numo ancestors, okay? And these Numo beings, they're said to be, let's read, okay? The earth and the normal reproductive cycle resulted in the birth of twins. Two beings were thus formed. God created them like water. They were green in color, half human beings and half serpents. From the head to the loins, they were human. Below that, they were serpents. Okay, so we see there were half human being and half serpents. Okay, now the story of the eight Numo ancestor is basically the story of the fallen angels. Okay, it was nine of the fallen angels. It's the same story. They took the knowledge of the heavens and they brought it down and they taught the man to integrate it with man. 
okay it's the same story that we find here okay and these angel beings are just extraterrestrial beings okay and our ancestors been saying this now it says because the reason why the the pneumo came to earth is because they could not follow the rules and regulation of heaven okay it says the first and second ancestors who incidentally had already broken the rule about separation they were not supposed to be together according to the dogon elder okay and they decided that they would leave the region and leaving the region um it says um where the they felt themselves to be strangers right they, they didn't feel like they belonged there and the six other ancestors threw in their lot with them and made the same decision moreover moreover they proposed to take with them any when they left anything that they thought would be of use to man okay they were going to rejoin the earth okay they were going back to the earth and they were going to join up with humans again and they wanted to take the knowledge and the useful tools of what they of what we call the heavens okay which is basically just another planet another another living abode out there we find the same story in Sumeria amongst the Sumerians, okay? The fallen angels, they're just called Apkalu in Sumeria, okay? It's, look, again, seven of them who taught mankind the arts of civilization. You will notice they, they hold these interesting bags, okay? The Dogon elder said that, the, I think it was the first ancestor, he wove a basket that he brought down with him to the earth. That looks like what they're holding is a basket. In Sumeria, we also find these half-human, half-serpent beings, okay? These reptile god beings. We also find them amongst the, the natives of J Japan, the Jomon people, okay? You see the serpent head right here. We find Olmecs in Mesoamerica holding this bag with serpent, right? If we look at Gobekli Tepe in Turkey, we find these same very bags even find them amongst the Toltecs and what they call the Atlantean figures. They hold these very strange bags or baskets. Then remember it was eight of them, right? Or sometimes seven. What's funny is Nagas or the serpents in Buddhism, right? You will find that it's seven uh, uh, serpents and then the Buddha will be sitting in front of these Nagas oftentimes, right? Let's count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, right? Seven serpent heads. This is a Stella from Elbal, Guatemala, right? We find the same thing. Seven serpent heads intertwined. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, right? And then the scales on the lower half of the body. What is interesting is king in Amharic, right? The Ethiopian language, we'll find that is Negusi or Negus, right? Like Naga, Negus, right? N-G-S or N-G-A being the the root right naga niggas is the same thing it means king it means royal or divine which is why you will find the egyptian uh pharaohs or the comedian pharaohs they had what they called a uraeus right the serpent at, because it depicted royalty right you were divine you were seen as chosen by these beings that all comes from our ancestors then we have nua and fushi right you'll see how their tails are intertwined in china it says that they taught domestication right these serpent beings um, uh, uh, cooking, fishing, hunting, basically all of the arts of civilization, uh, writing and language in to, uh, around 2000 BC. And we find the same thing in just in Mississippi, right? The Native American culture, right? So now we have it on Turtle Island, right? North America, all around the world, you will find uh, 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 these stories that come from our ancestors. And you see the tales intertwined here, the serpent tales. Now let's talk about Dragon Ball Z. So we know that with the Dragon Balls, right, in the anime with Goku, some of you guys may not know what Dragon Ball Z is, but I know you know who Goku is, a lot of you, right? There's seven Dragon Balls, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, right? Once you round up all seven, which is scattered around the world, right, like the, the uh, Sage of the Six Paths from, from Naruto, him and remember the eight people, it was eight of them, him included, they went around the world teaching Ninshu, the Shinobi arts, right? When you gather the seven Dragon Balls, you, you can summon this flying serpent, right? This great serpent right here that will grant you any wish. Then we find Goku was not from Earth, but from planet Vegeta. He was actually sent to Earth by his parents to escape the destruction of his home planet. And him and his people, they were advanced warriors, okay? Stronger and greater than the people of Earth. Well, that's it for today, folks. Uh, Y'all can subscribe to me on YouTube at The Cosmic Magician. 
okay and watch my video on the topic highly advanced civilization of the asiatic black man okay it's a one hour live you will love it shalom see you there